there and welcome back to another B video tutorial. Today we're going to be demonstrating how you can add a countdown timer to your emails. This timer can be counting down to a holiday, to the end of a sale, to an event, or pretty much just to anything you want. Um, countdown timers are a really fantastic way to give your emails a sense of urgency and help your readers take action. And they're also just a lot of fun and they can add some flair to your messages. So let's go ahead and get started. We have this email here from the company store and you can see that they had a countdown timer at the top here and their timer was counting down to when their free shipping deal ended. So if we jump over into the B editor, we're going to add in a countdown timer right here. So to prep for the timer, we're going to take an image box and drag it over below the header. The next thing we need to do is find the background color of the email on the right and we'll go ahead and copy that. So now we're ready to retrieve our timer. We're going to be using a website called Sendtrick to get our timer. This is just sendtrick.com. It's a free website, super easy to use. So if we go to the home page here, we're going to create our timer. So you can see we can add our email address, choose your time zone. We're going to select a date for the timer to end. And then for the background color, we're going to go ahead and paste in the background color from the email. And then we'll make the numbers on, on the timer be black. And now we're ready to click generate and Centric will create a code for our timer. So we're going to copy just the link from the code right here. And then we're going to bring that back over to B. And when you click on your image block, you'll see a place for a link right here. And we're going to go ahead and paste that link we just got from Sendatrick. So our timer is in the email and it is ready to use. The one thing you do need to keep in mind is that this timer is like a GIF. Um, so that means an outlook is not going to render. But otherwise, um, the timer is ready and it looks great. We can go ahead and preview the email up here and just check out how it's going to look on desktop as well as how it's going to look on mobile. And our timer's good to go. So that is how you can easily add a fun countdown timer to your email in B.